I often hear um, older photographers um, talk about their life in the dark room, the kind of almost repetitive meditative process of, and I, I mean, when I was a teenager, I turned my, the downstairs toilet in our house in Blarney, I turned it into a dark room um, and developed a film and had a, I bought this secondhand cheap Russian enlarger from Max Sweeney's in Cork City. And I bought an old DSLR as well. And I used to, I used to um, develop my own films and print them in there. And it was just, it did feel like magic um, at that time. Mm. Um, so maybe it makes one appreciate the history, the history of photography too. These kind of accidental effects of light must have astonished the ancients. I mean, I imagine even the night sky was something mesmerizing to look at historically without light pollution, looking up and seeing these dots in the sky and seeing these things moving. Really? It must have been such a... That's such a dominant feature in people's lives, you know. So I don't want to get sentimental or romantic or nostalgic in any way, but I, I think there is some something uh, valuable in in wondering about the quantity versus quality aspects of of of, of our lives, really.